energy is losing of the damped oscillator in the same manner this Mach number give us the give us an idea that at, at what speed that particular object is moving at if the Mach number is 1 now let me just uh, let me just I'll just uh, pausing it and So uh, hello all of you, here we will be discussing about the shock waves. So what are these uh, shock waves? Of course when the wave comes into the picture there are billions and millions of particles oscillating about their mean position but there will be some little difference. It, it won't be in a regular manner, it won't be uh, the actual wave, it will be some different kind of thing. How it is, let's see, let's have a look. It is some uh, complications what kind of complications we can have with this uh, shock waves but it is interesting topic to learn before that let me give you a few terminologies like sonic supersonic and subsonic if you go in the order and if you if we talk first about sonic sonic is something when particular object let's say if I'm moving or if a man moving or running with some particular speed but uh, what is the speed of sound you have a speaker so what's the speed of sound 340 meter per second 320 meter per second 330 meter per second that's the range around 330 to 340 meter per second in normal air medium of course it depends on density and many other parameters let it be but general let, let us consider 340 meters per second as the speed of sound now if uh, some body is moving some object is moving anything in the world having mass is moving with a velocity which is less than this 340 meters per second which is less than this 340 meters per second and that will be termed as the subsonic because there also will have some wave produced due to the motion now here we are uh, in the classical part the, the classical part of a physics but just quickly let me tell you when you go or when you penetrate the smallest aspect of quantum physics the de Broglie says that every body or every particle has a dual nature wave and particle so even though this is a particle having mass m when it is when it moves with some velocity it is the wave is associated with that please mind so when the sub subsonic particle you are playing a cricket or Ronaldo uh, hitting a football so that football when it moves it, the speed is not this much the speed is normal so but still that football that spherical object is associated with wave for let's say a certain time 10 second 15 second 20 second whatever whatever the projectile uh, in the medium is so such kind of wave will be of uh, subsonic nature and not to think much about it because uh, there are not much effect uh, associated with that subsonic thing it's normal uh, when an object moves or reaches the speed of sound when ob this is very high uh, you just convert it into kilometer per hour it will be a very high value so this uh, three point uh, let me just okay so like multiplying and the factor if you want to convert into kilometer per hour it will be like 1200 and more than 1200 1224 will be the answer 1224 kilometer per hour so the something which is moving at 1200 kilometers per hour it's really <coughs> going in just in the blink of eye it will move away even if you are riding a uh, not a bicycle but let's say the bike or the car or some bus or some truck is moving with a speed of 80 100 120 150 kilometer per hour in racing car you they reach to 250 300 okay fine 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 this is 1200 kilometer per hour you imagine you think just in a just a blink of eye the particle will move away the body will move away let's say the jet plane let us put this uh, boy or a man around for a time being let's just not think of this very normal thing which won't affect much let us think of something which will generate a shock wave so let's say we have the war going on of course right now it's going on but anyway let's say it's uh, world war two and the germany is attacking the different uh, bars the britain and the france and different things so the jet plane is moving with such a speed which is uh, around this uh, let's say the speed of sound then it can be termed as the sonic but if it exceeds this speed let us say it is 1400 kilometer per hour mind this 1400 kilometer per hour can you imagine just in a blink of eye just moves away 
So there is a film by Christopher Nolan. The, the the name of the film is Dunkirk. Very beautiful theme. That the Germany they they want to evacuate from one place to another place, but the Germany won't allow them. They, they want to frustrate them. They want to irritate them. That some news and sound that they used to create even uh, periodically after few minutes or few uh, slots, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, just by moving this jet or a rocket or some. Uh, aero, th this kind of planes, the aerodynamic devices which moves with the speed of 1400 km per hour, 1500 km per hour just to irritate them, just to break their uh, emotions or whatever kind of uh, thing they have, the, the fight, fighting nature they have, they break it just by that sound and many give up and many lives, the, it's good to see. So the thing is, this jet plane will continuously move and will produce a shock wave when it will be a supersonic. Now, now when, when it is supersonic, when the speed is greater than 340 meter per second or this 1, 2, 2, 4 kilometer per hour. So, if some particular body is moving with a speed of sound, it can be termed as the sonic object. When it, the speed is less than, <coughs> it is subsonic as the name suggests, sub and the supersonic as the name suggests, it is greater than sonic. So, when the object or let's say this uh, jet is moving with the speed greater than that of speed of sound and it is moving in the forward direction. So there will be some shock wave and we have learned the concept of wave front. It can be the spherical wave front, plane wave front, cylindrical wave front and from one point it just uh, propagates outwards or away from the source so that it can be in some other part. So same goes here. Uh, we will get some uh, conical shape this this part let's say this is the center of gravity so we will get some conical shape and this body at a vertex so this kind of means this is the source is it visible so this is the source and uh, we will we'll get something like a cone and many 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 different uh, things and this particular source will continuously move forward and this cone also will go uh, along with the source because yeah wherever the source is in some region only will get this uh, conical thing which we term as shock wave and anyone coming into the vicinity of this uh, shock wave the, the air drums and everything will, will not able to sustain those intensity those uh, frequencies etc uh, okay Fine. So, this is just an introductory part of uh, what are shock waves. When we get shock wave, so when a particular body is moving with a speed greater than that of speed of sound, around the speed or precisely the greater than that of speed of sound or wo how we can uh, term it as a supersonic, that supersonic body will create the shock wave and uh, even it was in Dunkirk movie, you will see it was a seashore, so it was it is sea. But if in some uh, living area, many buildings and many things uh, will just crack away because of the resonance. We have learned this resonance. So this will force this this uh, cone means this shock wave will force those building structure and bridge structure etc. And if the frequency the the forced frequency will match that natural frequency, those bridge will collapse. Those building will collapse. If you observe, even though they are not bombarding something, then also again and again, 5 times, 10 times, 20 times, frequently if it goes away uh, around those uh, region, those buildings and everything will just destroy because of the resonance. And of course, they used to bombard and all this, these are the things. But this is the small part of science. We are not talking about a war, we, are, we don't want it, <laughs> but we are just talking about uh, shock wave. This is beautiful concept. There is some geometry also, there is some angle called as alpha or any anything it can be denoted as by any symbol it can be denoted as but the particular angle at what angle at what speed etc will be doing numericals on that so this is uh, not of much uh, depth like other uh, topics where we had free oscillation we had many derivations and many things we had force oscillation we have damped oscillation so many things are associated here only one focus is on uh, supersonic and that the shock wave is producing and there is one more thing which is Mach number 
so we'll be talking about this Mach number this is uh, like uh, we have some coefficient or damping coefficient or uh, some particular thing which de uh, or we have q factor so this damping coefficient q factor they, they just denotes the they, they just give us the quantification then at what rate the energy is losing of the damped oscillator in the same manner this Mach number give us the give us an idea that at, at what speed that particular object is moving at if the Mach number is 1 now let me just uh, let me just I'll just uh, pausing it and I am in a flow so let me just continue there will be second clip which is of Mach number here only I am explaining because that flow has came ok so we'll so like teaching this like we'll continue in the next session and in next slides we'll talk more about Mach number ok that's it so I'm stopping here thank you and then the next video will start from here only Mach number ok